Hey guys, how's it going? Wade Mitch here. Today we are back on Greystone Farm. And if you're watching the stream Saturday night, you can see we mowed this field. We started salvaging it. Uh, right here we got our chopper box all full. And we got our empty wagon there. But I actually decided, um, I saw something on sale at the store and I went, we're going to pick it up. There's this set of rakes right here. These are some New Holland roller bar rakes. I wanted to try them out. Um, we haven't bought them yet. But I want to give them a test here and see how well they worked. So, we had the 4440 hooked up to them. It's a little big, but really it's the best thing I had to hook up on them because it's not going to be too much. But it'll be, I think, just at that point where we're still at a good amount of power for them. So, we'll go ahead here and I'll show you guys how they work. So, there was multiple configurations on these things um, that the store would let us buy. So there's this hitch right here you can get. So you can have one rake and then another one to either throw them all the way to a side or you can have one throw the first wind row to right here and have the second one over throwing the wind row to the left. And then there's also, like I said, this one, this is the one we own, is you just have the two wind rowers throwing the hay into the middle. And that's what we have right here. So I'm going to put our HUD back on. And we're going to go ahead. Now it is, with this wind row we have right here, it is a little bit of a, you just have to be careful, I guess, when you're lowering them. But yeah, to turn them on, you just go ahead and lower both of them. And they work really nice. If you actually look back there, you can see all the hay getting thrown in. They have really nice effects on them. But yeah, like I said, make sure, if you guys haven't yet, go back and watch about two an hour 45 two hours into the stream we did on saturday night um like i said we did all this mowing and stuff uh chopped a lot of it but after that we moved on to some other stuff so you should be able to find the part where i was mowing if you want to and go watch that i don't really care if i'm gonna pick up that end wind row i might just try to chop it real quick Yeah, I was looking at some open station tractors because we really do need a really a nice small little chore tractor, like even run the auger on and stuff. Um, we might have to trade something in if we do get that. It just depends what they have, but we'll have to see. This really is just kind of making it more convenient, so we don't have to take like a million passes. But right now. We'll do this outside wind row with a chopper. So we'll get our 16 foot, I think this is. Yeah, we'll get the 16 foot hooked up to the chopper and then have this uh, 6R run back the full wagon to the blower. But really, on the plan today, this is all I have. Um, we can also, we have a second field mode down by the farm. It's just our little pasture. I also have something to show you there. If you guys haven't watched, we'll go ahead and do that. Um, also on the stream, we did buy this 620F header brand new it just we're having pr problems with the 220 and it kept breaking so we bought that we also bought the second commodity shed here um I th you guys know about the baler we also have this new mower this is what we use to mow that pasture i really like it i was thinking about selling the moco because we have this right here we can set the uh things to go in and right there's a fertilizer but yeah we do have this mode and as you can see it really does lay down a nice wind row Other than that, um, we have all of our oats done except one field, which we're just waiting. We have a patch that needs to grow still. But we have this whole commodity shed over here almost filled up with straw bales, so that'll last us the whole year. Um, definitely took a while, but it's going to be worth it. We don't, we don't have to buy any bales. So we'll fill up these last two bays with that last field because it's pretty big. It's the one out here outside the farm, 85. But that'll probably be done off screen if you guys would like to. To watch some harvest you can go back on the live streams the first one was mainly all harvest um and the second one i did harvest for a little bit and bailing but right, we'll go ahead and hook up to this chopper box here there we go Let's try to sneak between these these guys right here let's unfold the chopper and we'll just have to kind of run around the outside here and pick up this one row
get little stray bits I missed as well. I would also like to make a path up here with gravel so our tractor does detect it and doesn't try to cut through the grass here. Let's jackknife it here. Because whenever I set the uh, worker to drive that for us, it always doesn't really get it very good or how I want it. Let's get in the 6R. Hook up to the 18 foot wagon. There we go. Let's set our destination right here in front of the uh, fire station. So that's where I've been letting them go. And we'll go ahead and do this outside row right here. I don't know where that 6R is going to go, so i got to watch out. You might run into me. Um, he's stopping? There we go. He's turning. Yeah, what they do is they go down to the church there, hit the gravel. It's actually really steep. i got to be careful. Really, that would be those rakes are a great way to save some money instead of the big HNS rake because really they're the same width because the HNS can only grab two wind rows anyways, and those rakes are really cheap. I think they're under ten grand, so it's definitely an option if we need some money to sell the HNS. Even though I don't want to, we might. We'll just have to see how it goes and how that works with raking straw. If we want to rake some straw. We're really talking about stuff I did on the stream. Um, I don't really think there's much else I have to talk about that we did on the stream. Um, I did try to get some multiplayer set up, but that didn't really work well with all the mods I have in here I can't share. So we'll just be sticking by ourselves for now. And I did, um, I did find some copyright free songs, so I'm going to do a little time lapse today. I thought I'd bring that back for video since this raking will be kind of boring, but I do want to include it, so. We'll go ahead and do that once we get this last row picked up. Also, I did fix this baseball field because it was like a gravel midfield or infield. So that wheel to turn because I'm not on wheel right now. I can't turn it very fast. Yeah, another one of the reasons I didn't really want to rake or salvage all this without raking it is because the yield's so low and it takes forever to fill up a box. You can see we're only at 50% we've been going around the field almost the whole time. It's not a small field either. Definitely took quite a bit of time to mow. I think it took us like half an hour. But the goal for this second cutting, um, for the first cutting we did almost all hay, so for this second cutting, the goal is to do a lot of silage. Um, we'll pro still probably do some hay, but silage is definitely the uh, number one goal to get done out of this. Whether it's silage bales or chopping, it's just going to be kind of up in the air. I don't really think we're going to do any grass bales, so it's either going to be one or the other. Right, let's go ahead. Get the 7220 fired up. I did actually put that tractor to use in the field. That's what we used to mow, and I feel like it ran pretty well. So we might be using that for our mowing tractor in the future. That and the 6R, obviously. Cows are also doing pretty well. Um, there's not really much to do. They aren't. I don't know why they aren't making very much manure. I feel like I should have more from them for how many cows I have, but I guess I'll have to sort that out some other time. Let's go ahead and unload our grass here. We'll check our production chain on this actually. So, oh, we're almost full on this. We'll have to, we might have to be buying another silo here. 
I just don't really know where we're going to put it if we do get another silo. Um, so really there's not a ton of room, which is kind of a problem. We'll have to look here. Silos. Now, we could use these. Like I said, I think I tried setting this up another time. It just took up too much room. I didn't like it. Once again, I was thinking about putting that here, but that's going to be an issue. Hmm. We'll have to look into that, because I don't know if we're going to be able to finish our field with uh, doing that. I also don't understand why these are so expensive compared to the uh, big TMR mixing silos. But. I really gotta find a nice spot to put these. Because I kind of do want to get these. Just don't know where they go. I'll be right back. I'll try to find a good spot for these. So I'm going to pause the recording here and try to look at this. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to go ahead here. And I said I was going to sell these uh, small bail wagons. So I think I'll go ahead and do that because there's just not much use for them. And they're kind of in the way of where I want to put this or at least try to. I'm really thinking. Like right here. The problem is, though, is it goes through the wall there, and I don't know how I think about that. Even though that's what it's supposed to do. I just don't know what I think about that being realistic or anything. And obviously right here is, like, way too far out into the yard. Yeah, well, we'll go ahead and figure that out another time. I think, yeah, this wagon's ready to head back to the pasture over there. So we'll go ahead, send this back, and we're going to get the rake in here. Let's get our worker set destination. Right here. We'll go ahead. Uh, do a little time lapse here since we haven't done that in a while and I hope you guys enjoy. Well, all right, so we're done raking our field here. Um, I don't know exactly the way to hook these things up for transport, but I think I do. I think you just kind of put them right here in the middle. And you hook this one up to this one. Right? I say that seems pretty, like, kind of what it's supposed to be. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's how it goes. 
So we'll go ahead and get this thing kind of parked here at the entrance of the field, and we'll take it back later. And we'll get the chopper ready, because the box we have right now is only halfway full, and then we got the other 16 foot that's completely empty. Or, no, it's the 18 foot that's empty, so we got the bigger one that's empty. So yeah, we'll just park the 4440 right here for now. And let's get in the 78. And we'll leave that bit far on our way out, right there. Just drive over to what's already been road and raked up. I feel like people only snap me and Snapchat me and text me when I'm recording and not when I have my mic muted or it's time lapsing. <laughs> exactly. Alright, here we go. Let's see. This should fill us up a lot faster because two in resin one, so. I don't know why it's going so slow. We're going way faster earlier. There we go. We got seven. Just struggling to get out of gear here. Eight. I don't really think a 7830 is too underpowered for this thing. Just saying. Yeah, I was a solid 20% on that one pass, so... We do the math. It's like five passes for... Wagon. So, it'll probably be like three or four wagons at least. Alright, where we're full on this one. Let's pick up a little more so we can... Pipe in and let's run this 18 foot over. Alright, let's just drop this front in front here to the point where we can back up to it and still get at our 16 foot. Alright, I'm actually going to turn my ringer off because I feel like I'm going to get another Snapchat here. And let's go ahead and start heading over this way and set our destination for right here by the fire department. There we go. Let's back right up to our 18 footer. The one nice thing about it is, or about how it was before it was raked. Oh my gosh, it's blocked already. Is that I could get the wagon back before it was full, but then it would just take too much time sitting there. So I'd rather just kind of... Oh, you got it? I don't know what it's doing there. But yeah, but now it's just like I'll probably have a little bit of downtime, but I'd say it's better than having the wagon track just sit there. I'm gonna make sure I don't like fall down the cliff here. It's a little bit steep. Alright, so we're making pretty good progress here, but I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to do a lot of this off camera, and I'll be back when we're finishing up, like the last wagon or two. I just think I don't want the video to be stretched out here, because i got to get some other stuff fit in right at the end. But I'll see you guys when we're done, almost done chopping this field. So, I'll be right back. Alright, so we're sitting here, uh, almost done with this field. I think this will be the last wagon. Um, even if it's not, we'll probably just try to a little bit extra in there and overflow it. <laughs> it's just not worth bringing the other wagon back for this little bit. But yeah, we got four little bitty passes left, so I think we can easily fit it in here. Do these two bigger ones first, and then move to those two small ones. But the whole thing went pretty smoothly. I think it's only been like four or five wagons total. Um, we're just barely going to be able to squeeze it into our silo. So... Um, 
I say probably. Uh, the field down by the farm, we will just end up doing the Savage Ram bales. And we'll have to at least start Bale Rapper again for that, so. This thing's really struggling here, getting up this hill. It's pulling all that grass in the back's heavy. Make sure not hit this tree. Yeah, we'll have to take the roll of our rakes back and rake that bit, and we'll have to take the salvage, or the chopper back and everything, but I'll probably just have the worker do that and do it off screen, and we'll get back there and bail on stuff when we get back. Yeah, we're fitting this all in here easy. We have that little strip on our way out. We should be able to fit in here as well. It was definitely this definitely went pretty good for how big a field this was and the equipment we're using. I feel like it we got pretty good uh, yield off it and everything, and it didn't take too long. I'd say it only took about 20 minutes to chop this, about 10, 15 to rake it, and half an hour to mow it. I think it was. So we got done in like an hour for everything. Yeah, we'll turn the, uh, get the pipe disengaged. So you can go a little faster, not using as much power. We'll go ahead and drive the rakes back, because I could get them hooked back up anyways. Then we got the wagon back at the farm we got unloaded, and I think we got just enough room in our silo here. Yeah, we're, uh, oh, we got plenty of room. Uh oh. Alright, let's engage our pipe again, and put on our cruise, and get this last little stretch here. Yeah, we're definitely going to be getting it right there at 100%, because we're probably going to overflow it a little bit from what it's looking like. 94, 95. It's going to be really close, but we're definitely going over. We'll have like 1% over the uh, limit. 98. There's 99, probably, right there. Yeah, it's one little bit. If we were 1% lower, we probably could fit that in. But. Right, let's disengage the pickup, fold it, and let's tell this to go, actually hold on, we'll let the uh, worker take the roller bar back, so I think that'll be a little easier to do than the chopper for the worker. That or we'll try to have him take it both back, let's see, and then we'll go ahead and unload this wagon while we're waiting. Yeah, you definitely got quite a bit of silage in there, though. 272,000 liters. We'll have plenty for the year. Plus all our silage bales we got, so... We probably really don't need that uh, big silo I was thinking about buying. Maybe in the future we'll just get a second silo and we can still mix all our stuff anyways. See those guys crash. No, oh, looks like we're at the roll bar right there. Yep, and there's the chopper. Let me make sure I, everything's out of the way here. It's like, yeah, we'll go ahead and lease our bell wrapper while we're at it. You gonna do this one? Round bells. Yeah, we'll do this one. All 
Alright. Now we just gotta wait for our chopper to get back. So. Also, I did scoot these wagons back because we did use these for our harvest instead of the semi trailer. And I think they actually the lid of that bin's still open. I gotta shut that. Yep, chopper's back. Let's hop on him. Yeah, we do have that, uh, like, 106,000 liters of oats in that bin, I believe, from that harvest we did. And there's probably going to be more in there. Um, you can see I extended the bit so we could park the auger right there when we're loading it up. So I'm not in the road or anything. Right, make sure I don't hit that auger anyways. Let's back this into the shed. This will be a fun one. So I have that blocked off with the mower because not really much room to get the mower parked in there now. So we'll cut this right now. Make sure I don't jackknife it or anything. Go straight. Yep. I get that as close to the rake as I can. There we go, perfect. And then we're going to go ahead and just leave the 78 just backed up here on the wall. And really, we'll go ahead and sell our square baler because I also sold the wagons for it. So that big square baler is just way convenient compared to this thing. That's just 20 grand right there we can have back. So we'll move the tether on the inside. And I'm going to put that corn head right on the outside so we can just hook it up when we need to. Alright, I'll scoot the mower. So I really don't know how I'm going to be keeping this moco since we got that new haul in now. So we'll just kind of scoot it right here. Give us a little room to get stuff back in here. But I think our roller bar rake should be back. Yep. We'll go ahead and park these out by our second commodity should we have. Or we'll just throw them on. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Because we got to get our wagon right here. It's moved out of the way. really thinking of a spot I could put these, but I think they might just go back out back again. Um, yeah. I guess I could put them right here. But it's just a little in the way for getting our mineral feed. Here, let's try and hook it and kind of scooting it over and see how that looks. The short one will go closer to the barn. That might work. We'll leave it there for now. See how it, see how in the way it is, or see if it's good. We'll grab the second wagon. Could also back them up right here, but I don't like where that is because I want to just have that open in case we have to throw something to the side, like the mixer. There we go. And we can go ahead and get our rakes set up here. It's in the 4440. We have to detach this one. Let's attach the back one first. This one goes on this side. We'll kind of just push it back here. There we go. And back up our little toolbar here. Alright, let's see how these things handle going on a lot of turns here. 
Let's go straight this way for now. I do love the effects on these things, that looks really nice. But I'll be right back um, until we get the bailer out or something. I really gotta see how long recordings are because I know this is like gonna be a really long video, so I'll be back in a bit and I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, we're all done raking that field. Um, the one issue I have with these rakes is they're just, it's not really an issue, it's just they're hard to get around when you're making a tight turn, so. Oh, we gotta figure out a way to park these things for right now. Um, I really gotta find a spot to park these. So I'd like to leave them together for right now, but. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. I think we'll go ahead and just leave them right here, hooked up to the tractor. And. Now that our. Okay, we'll shut that off. But now that our wagon is done, we gotta try to back this up beside the other one. See how this works. And we'll throw this on the round bailer once we unhook it. Since it's already on running. I'm not great at reversing these things. And I think it's definitely not sharp enough of a turn. Yeah. Almost like I can cut it here. Oh, oh yeah, look at that reversing job right there. Not too shabby. It's not like... I'll kick the back end of this one out this way so we're even. Um, not flip it. That would not be nice. There we go. Yeah, we'll go ahead and hook up to the ram builder here and go ram build this stuff. And I'll be right back. We'll get this wrapped up here and... See you guys in a second. Alright guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Um, we're done bailing the field here, but like I said, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you're enjoying the streams. I hope you're enjoying the whole series, really. Uh, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Leave on notifications. Uh, we're trying to do videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, Friday's normally a stream more video. Uh, I think this Friday will probably be just a third video in the week. But like I said, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And thanks for being here.